Good morning, Road School, and welcome to today's live newscast. Your newscasters are Arpon from Miss Linus class. And also Tommy from Miss Linus class. Today is Tuesday, December 14, 2010. Okay. It is a day two. Okay. Okay. okay, okay, education thought of the day is show respect to your parents, teachers, classmates, and to yourself. And now for the, uh, for the up to the minute weather. Today is mostly cloudy. The current temperature is 18 degrees Fahrenheit. The high temperature is 25 degrees Fahrenheit and the low is 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Tomorrow is mostly cloudy with the high temperature of 28 degrees Fahrenheit and the low temperature of 17 degrees Fahrenheit. With looking at our satellite map, we see snow over most of Long Island. They're ex expected to receive from one to four inches. We will not be seeing any of that snow. We will just have cold temperatures to deal with. There will be indoor recess today because of the cold temperatures. Today's lunch will be baked buttered chicken nuggets with duck sauce. At this time, please stand for the flag salute. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag, flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and Now for the sports report. The Ravens beat the Texas Texans in overtime 34 to 28. The Giants beat the Vikings last night 21 to 3. Tomorrow we have a special guest, Mr. Basford, on the morning news. Two students from Miss Newman and Miss Loicano's class will do the interview. Now for a word from Mr. Dolan. Good morning, Village School. I uh, just wanted to let you know about a fun, exciting evening and a, a great thing to celebrate that Miss Lucas and I did last week on Thursday. We spent the night at the museum because the Rutgers Glider was there and opened its exhibit. And not only is it a fun thing to um, share with everyone, but also Miss Lucas's class picture from last year was actually at the museum as well. So I have a couple pictures from the event I want to share with you so you guys can almost seem like you are at the museum. Here we see. This is the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. There we go. So we started out the night. We had some guest speakers uh, that there at the podium, and then we got a chance to view a video from um, the, what's called the Atlantic Crossing. So we can take a little look at the video now. It's just about uh, 30 seconds or so. So we'll take a quick little peek at the video. I'm a geographer and a champion for ocean exploration and use of new technology to better understand what we can do for the ocean. I'm Doug Andrews Cook. I'm a third generation explorer and a voice for the oceans. Automated explorers such as the Bernier 27 bring knowledge about what's going on in our one and only life support system. You're about to embark on an amazing adventure. A fascinating story about the real struggles, the real hurdles, and the real triumphs in the world of exploration and the world of science. This film, Atlantic Crossing, the story of Derek Little Rupert, will take you into the sea to share the adventure where no human has been before. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, the video is actually an hour and a half. It's actually a, a full documentary, and hopefully we'll be able to see that video on the Discovery Channel or History Channel someday so you guys can actually view the whole entire thing. What you're looking at now is a picture of what they call Ocean Hall, where they have all kinds of great exhibits all about the ocean and what lives there and how it uh, survives and how it interacts with everything else and controls our climate. Here's another view of Ocean Hall, kind of from the ground level. You can see one of the large whales hanging from the ceiling there. And right in back of that is where the exhibit is. And here we have a look. I didn't, wasn't able to get that close. There were a lot of VIPs in front of us. Uh, but they're having a little ribbon cu uh, cutting ceremony right here showing the glider in the background. 
Here we can see Professor Scott Glenn. Uh, in the middle, we also have a representative from the White House that was there speaking. And all the way on the other side, we have a representative from uh, the Navy that was there as well. Here is a full shot of the glider display in that ocean hall. And it's a little hard to see, but right over here is a picture of Miss Lucas's class. Let's take another, a little closer look. Here's the tip of our glider and the class picture as well, and even a little bit closer. This shows the human component of the glider mission because students from all over the country were invited to send letters on board the glider, just like Miss Lucas's class did, and we can see the glider, Professor Glenn, Miss Lucas, and the rest of the class. <clears throat> Here you see pictured well myself, of course. Uh, you have Professor Glenn and then Miss Lucas as well. So we we're very pleased to be able to take a picture and celebrate this night with uh, Professor Glenn. And here we are, the very famous now Miss Lucas and not so famous Mr. Dolan. But here we are pictured, uh, sharing that with you guys so you can actually see. Hey, not a bad little likeness there. <clears throat> And for some of you, I know there's a definitely a fourth grader out there that knows a little bit about the Costeau family. Um, here we have Fabian Costeau, and he is a third generation ocean explorer, and he was there to celebrate the evening uh, as well. If you're not exactly sure who he might be, well, he is the grandson of famous ocean explorer Jacques Cousteau. So that's a picture of his dad right up there in the corner. And I know someone did a biography report last year on Jacques Cousteau. So uh, maybe they can come on one day and tell us a little bit more about him. So now I'd like to turn the show back. I hope you enjoyed that and got a little glimpse into what the glider celebration was like. And let's go back to our broadcasters. For the VS News Network, this is our pun signing off. And Tommy signing off. Tune in tomorrow for another exciting edition of the VS News. Have, Have a, a tremendous, tremendous Tuesday. Tuesday.